it's Liz and Recycling Ben here at the Dalton Whitfield Recycling Center and it's Reuse It Fridays and today we just wanted to give you a tip for the holidays and we'd like you to try wrapping some of your gifts this year with the comic pages from the newspaper or just newspaper in general. Newspaper of course is recyclable and you can recycle it in Whitfield County but it does make for wonderful, alternative, eco-friendly gift wrapping. To get started, what we need to do, of course, is to find some comic pages from the paper. Depending on where you live, the color version of the comics will come out on Sunday. So keep an eye out for your Sunday paper so you can get the color versions which are much more attractive. If you don't have time to wait around for the Sunday paper, you can use the regular newspaper and maybe find an interesting picture to showcase on your gift. As an example, we're just going to wrap this box with one of these comic pages. I've already cut this page out of the comic book page section. And of course, you're just going to wrap this just like any other gift. And you can try to find maybe the favorite comic of the person that you're giving this gift to. Or you can just find something really, really colorful or festive around the holidays. Um, like the box I have here has a snowman, snowman on the front and lots of snow. So it makes for an interesting picture. All right, this is done. And now we need our finishing touch, which is, of course, a bow. You can definitely use ribbon or some other sort of labeling for your package. But we are going to use newspaper. You'll need either tape or glue or a glue stick. And you need a newspaper. And you don't have to use the comics for this, but you can if you want. And I have pre-cut this double page into single pages. And you're gonna cut strips of paper about half an inch to an inch wide all the way across the page. And depending on how big you want your bow to be, you need maybe eight to 10 strips. Once you have some strips cut up, you need to gather them together and fold them in half and press down and we're going to mark the middle of the page because we are going to make a daisy flower bow. So to make this style bow, you need to fold this in half, unfold, you're going to get your first strip, put it on the, down on the table, get your glue stick, a little piece of tape or glue and just put a little bit right in the middle. You're going to gather the opposite ends, bring them into the center, and press down where your glue is. So you have this bow shape. To continue with our daisy flower, you're going to put glue in the center of your first bow, and again, get the middle of this paper, press it down into the center of the bow. Then we're going to add more glue on top, and fold this over one end to the middle and the other end to the middle and so on and you want to keep rotating the different strips of paper so since I pre-made a couple over here I'm just going to get these and put them on top and just alter the location of each strip so now we're done with our basic daisy flower bow out of newspaper strips you can put this on your package, but to dress it up a little bit, we're going to add some curly ribbons of paper. Since this is paper and you might tear your paper, try to do your ribbon curling with your scissors closed and using the outer portion of your scissors. Your paper will still curl up and hopefully you won't lose a lot of your strips by accidentally cutting them. Put this on your bow. We're gonna use our glue or you can use a piece of tape. And we're gonna put a little bit of glue here on the center of our curly ribbon and just add this to the middle of our flower daisy bow. And, and you can see it's already giving us some depth and some more interest in the flower. So I'm going to continue curling some ribbon and I hope you enjoy making some unique gift wrapping for the gifts you have prepared for your friends and family. Happy Holidays!